Hey what's up guys, in this video I'll be giving you my review of the MI UI 6 for Nexus 5. The version of Android that we get along with this ROM is Android 4.4.4 which is KitKat and it's upgradable to Android Lollipop in the new future updates. I'll be providing the files for download in my video description and step by step instructions how to install this on your Nexus 5. The MI UI interface is quite similar with iOS look as it doesn't have any app drawer just icons on the home screen. So how does this MI UI ROM stack up against the other ROMs for the Nexus 5? So without further ado, let's get on with the video. When we look at the lock screen, you can see swiping towards the left will bring up the dialer option and swiping towards the right will bring up the camera option. Talking about the camera, the interface is good. Swiping towards the left side will bring up the camera modes like panorama, timer and manual options. Tapping on the setting icon will bring up the camera settings menu where you can change the settings as per your need. In your video option, also swiping towards the left side will bring up the video modes where fast motion is available. You can also manage your video resolution through your video settings and many more. The notification panel is revamped giving you a better look at the notification that we receive. The toggles are available to interact with the settings option directly and also access the notification at the same time. Multitasking is totally different, swiping down will lock the application and again swiping down will unlock the application. Swiping up will dismiss the application and if you want to clear all the applications at the same time, you can do it by tapping this X icon here. Pinching your home screen will give you access to customize your home screen. Like move an application from one page to another, you can also move multiple applications at the same time. Access your widget option, manage your wallpaper and apply transition effect on your home screen. The application that we get on our home screen along with this ROM is totally different. You have your gallery option which also has a my cloud option where you can store your photos and videos. You have your music application which has a totally different interface and gives you an elegant look. Theming your phone is also available along with this ROM where you get a variety of themes available for free or even paid. Tools folder is available where you get your file explorer which is good and also it has a materialistic look. Scanner is also available where you can scan your QR code to know the product information and many more. You also have your security option where you get to know your data usage as how much data has been consumed. Block list option is available to block incoming and outgoing calls. Virus scan for files and folders, cleaner to clean the unwanted files, all these things are available in your security option. MI click is also available and I think this is used for fitness tra tracking or something like that but it's cool and has a great interface. Google Play Store is also available which has an updated version. File transfer option is also available which is supported by AnyShare. Now when you look at the settings option you can see the layout is simple and good. You can manage your notification as per application by going into your manage notification option. You can also rearrange the toggles by just tapping and holding the icon to move here and there. On your service bar you can show your connection speed of your internet and also you can edit your service provider. There are tons of wallpaper to choose which can be downloaded online from the wallpaper option. Do not disturb option is also available where you can silent the calls or even your notification when the device is logged. You also have your smart cover mode which can be used when you have a flip cover as it automatically unlocks the phone when the when the flip cover is closed and unlocks the phone when the flip cover is lifted. Guest mode is available in your privacy option and also there is an app locker available which comes built in along with this ROM to lock your applications. By going into your additional settings you can manage your display by toggling on the automatic brightness or even uh, decreasing or increasing the brightness. You can also manage your system fonts by downloading various fonts which are available online. One handed mode is also available along with this ROM. You have your battery option which gives you the ability to activate battery server mode in this ROM. This MIUI ROM has built in backup option where you can backup your applications, system settings and also account info. I really like this option which gives you the freedom to backup your system without using any third party application. Call recorder option comes built in along with this ROM which is a great feature as per my opinion. Ready with the battery life, I get around 2 hours and 35 minutes of screen time by while using this ROM on my Nexus 5. So mainly the battery life depends on the user as how they use their phone according to, to their need. 
so guys this was my review of MIUI ROM on my Nexus 5 hope you guys like this video and do leave your thoughts in the comment section below whether you like this ROM or not do follow me on twitter instagram and google plus and also do remain subscribe to my channel for the more android content and more unboxing that i'll be doing in the near future till then i'll be seeing you in my next video